How's it going there YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and we've got another fun video for you today. We're going to be talking again about my Sony Xperia Tablet Z and I'm going to be installing custom recovery on this locked bootloader device. So if you're looking to get something like this, Team Win Recovery Project on your device, this is going to be the video for you. Quick thing I'd like to point out about these devices on these Xperia devices is that they don't have a stock Android recovery which is just really weird to me um, so it's very unusual you can't get in there and factory set with their standard recovery but if you want to get recovery on your device I'm going to show you how to do that today let's go do that so first things first to put custom recovery on your Sony Xperia Tablet Z this is a 10.1 inch device you're going to need a couple things. One of them right there is Super User, so you're going to have to have that installed. Not necessarily the application, but the root access. So we're going to prove that we have root access right here with this is called Root Checker. And you just hit right there, and this app will just make sure that you get the pop-up for root access. This is root access with um, Super Sue. It does make a difference on which root version you have or if you have Super Sue or Super User, so pay attention to that on your device. Other than that, that's really all you need to do to be able to get custom recovery installed is make sure you have root access on your tablet. If you don't, check out my video on it and it'll walk you through all that. You're also going to need to get into settings and you're going to need to get developer options turned on by going into about tablet, tapping on your build number 10 times, you'll get those options, then you can come in here and you can turn them on and make sure USB debugging is checked. As long as you have those things done, you are ready to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this device into my computer with this uh, nifty difty uh, USB cable right here. So we'll get that done. There we go. And let's go to my computer and walk through the steps of doing this. All right, here we go. So basically, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to come to this uh, site, and I'll give you a link to it. It's this guy, Nut. I don't know. That's his username on XDA, I think. And he makes all the stuff for all these Xperia devices, so it's really awesome. So we're just going to go right here to XZ Dual Recovery. And we're going to go to our device, which is right here. This is the installer. This is the flashable. We want the installer, and we just click on it and download it, okay? Um, click here to start download. And you can see it's downloading right there. And I've already downloaded it, but I just want to show you where it's at. I'll also link you to the XD thread on it, so you'll have everything. All right, now we're going to go right here. So it, in, it downloads to, what is it called here? Man, I can try and try out, draw on a total blank on it. Oh, there it is. So tab Z, locked reco dual recovery, okay? So this is for locked bootloaders. Obviously, you could install it on an unlocked bootloader if you wanted, but this is specifically for locked bootloaders, just so you guys understand that. All right, so I went ahead and took this file and, you know, extracted it. It looks like this and it comes into a folder like this you open the folder and it's pretty simple um, you, if you don't have your drivers already downloaded and installed you can come up here and here's uh, adb drivers you guys can install them or the actual script will do it as well so i'm going to go ahead and go into the script and this is what we're working with right here so very very cool so basically it just says what do you want to do well i know that I have a ROM, I have it rooted, and I have it rooted with Super SU. So I'm gonna pick option one. If you don't have root access and it's possible to root with tower root method, you can even use this to root it. If you need your, to install your ADB drivers for Windows, you can also do that, which is really nice. So from here, I'm just gonna go with option one for me, and then hit enter, so type one and then hit enter. And this should go ahead and do everything. This should totally install custom recovery for you. So let's just see if everything comes together and works out okay. So it's just kind of sitting here right now. All right, it was pushing some files over, which is fine. We're just waiting. Set up recovery, so I need to grant super user permission right here on my tablet. So I'll grant that. Look at your device, blankety blank blank. And it says, look at your device, grant super user access, press any key to continue. So I'm going to push space bar. There you go, installing recovery. 
and there we go. The device will now try a data safe reboot. Okay, and it looks like it should be done. So we're gonna go ahead and go to press any key to continue. And the script is done. Here's my device over here booting back up. Let's just see if it boots into recovery if it just does a normal boot up. And then from there, we can try to get into custom recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window out on my computer. And there it is actually, guys. Boom, Twerp Recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. Very, very cool. Let me close this out. We're done on the computer. So there you go. That is custom recovery on your device. From here, you can go ahead and do your you know, first backup. Probably wanna back up everything. Swipe across, create your first Android backup. I would not back up to internal. I would back up to my external. And you'll be good to go. I'm actually gonna run this and get my first backup on my device. So there you go, that's gonna be installing custom recovery. From here you could just go reboot system and you know reboot out of it and you'll be out. But let me go ahead and show you how to get into custom recovery one more time from a powered off state. All right, there we go. You can see I have fully done my first backup, which is really cool. Um, it's funny that it has, says reboot system right now only um, and doesn't give me any other options. Must be something, oh, you know, here's a back button up here. We'll go back that way. All right, we can get around. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and power this off and I'm gonna show you guys how to boot into this custom recovery. So basically, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can download an app that uses root access and it'll reboot you into recovery. Very cool, easy way to do it. The way I'm gonna show you is the way that you get into it if you have some major problem the thing doesn't boot up. So to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold power and then on the side, there's a little LED notification that blinks. As soon as it blinks, you're gonna start spamming volume up and just keep pushing it. That should boot us into custom recovery. Let's see what we can do. There's the blink and let's just keep pushing it. I'm not sure if you need to hold it or if you just need to push it, let's see. Oh, now that's hilarious. So, <laughs> look at this. Okay, so <laughs> I got to read up on this because there is Phil's Touch 6 recovery. Now, I did see in the script, it looked like it actually installs Phil's Touch and Twerp and maybe even Clockwork Mod. And it looks like there might be a different way for each to boot into them. So I'm gonna go to power options and I'm gonna say power off again. And this time we're actually gonna try powering up, looking for our blink and then volume down and see if there's a difference. I think there might be. So we'll power up, wait for the blink. There it is. And we'll start spamming the volume down button this time and see if this uh, gives us a different screen. Um, like I said, I don't read up a ton on this but I remember seeing in the batch script that it does multiple things. Aha! Ho, 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 check it out! So there you go. If you want to use Vils Touch, volume up. If you want to use Twerp Recovery, volume down. And just keep spamming that sucker as soon as you see that LED on the side blink. Very, very cool. Definitely digging it. I'm going to go ahead and reboot my system. And guys, that's gonna wrap it up here for me on the Sony Xperia Tablet Z 10 inch, 10.1 inch device. I'm really liking this with the dock. It's an amazing, amazing device. You definitely gotta check it out. If you don't have one, I really, really like it. As always, please stay tuned for more coverage on this. I'll probably be doing some custom ROMs and stuff like that. So you'll be waiting for those videos. Hopefully I'll do a full bootloader unlock, maybe a restore video, all that. Um, just want to give a huge shout out to my boys, Hendrix and Ken. They've been doing some awesome videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying those on tear, doing teardown videos and on hardware and some cool reviews. So stay tuned for that kind of stuff. Uh, please subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the content. And we'll talk to you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.